Hey everyone, today I tried to make a video about the Bogo Indian defense. I will make videos of several Indian defenses. I still haven't decided which ones, but um, we'll see. So if black responds d4 with knight f6, then we enter the Indian defense territory and uh, of course it can transpose to many other things too but for example if d4 and e6 now it can transpose to 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 many things for example Nimso Indian defense or if white plays Knight f3, then if black plays bishop b4, then this is called the Bogo Indian defense. Here if white plays knight c3, it transposes to the Kasparov variation of the Ninzo Indian. Here black can play c5 or b6. For example, and the game game turns out to be pretty interesting. And this is perhaps something that black should avoid, this particular variation. Okay, so let's go back here. Black usually plays bishop d2. I mean white, and here black has several responses, such as queen e7, a5, c5, bishop takes d2, or just bishop e7, those are the most common ones. Let's look at them a little bit. And uh, this position is pretty rare. So with a5, black tries to gain space on the queen side. And this position looks quite comfortable for white.
black can also play c5 immediately and here white can take this b4 bishop and this pawn looks weak but it might be annoying for the knight because it can't develop to c3 so often white just plays something like a3 and gives the pawn back I mean wants to trade this off Oh, what's going on here? Like this. Very interesting position. Black can also just take on d2, and uh, well, white can recapture also with the knight. But let's look at this queen recapture. This doesn't look so interesting. This offers good drawing chances for black, so if your opponent plays knight f3 after c4, then this variation could, could offer um, good drawing chances. And... Uh, there's one more variation backing down which leaves this bishop kind of uh, misplaced I mean it's not the ideal square for it so that kind of justifies this bishop maneuver first to b4 and then back to e7 because well here the bishop moved again And uh, this should be a draw also. Okay. Then white has one more choice to play knight b to d2. And here black has three main choices. b6, castle, or d5. B6 um, looks like a Queen's Indian defense type of setup. Here white can play A3, just E3 or G3. But A3 looks most forcing and uh, the bishop can also back up to E7 but perhaps it's smart to take because otherwise it would be a waste of time to, to go there. And here Queen takes D2 or Bishop takes D2. Um, Bishop takes d2 is more common, but let's look at queen takes d2. It, it gives better results for white because perhaps then bishop is developed to b2 here. Oh well, this is the drawback if the queen takes, then he has to, she has to move again. Here f5 or c5 from black. And a timely d5, black declines the exchange. White puts pressure on e4. Black's trying to crush through on the queen side. And uh, makes this exchange and it's a very interesting position I would say
So then if black just castles then here black usually retreats the bishop after a3. And again, black is trying to um, just constrain white on the queen side instead of attacking on the king side, like in the king's Indian defense. And the position is fairly messy, I would say. This pawn structure is quite uh, quite unusual. And white can just play d5 here. Here white has a couple of options. Queen a4, check, a3, or e3, or g3 again. Let's look at this. Looks most interesting. And is the most played. a3. And this is surprisingly good for white. So perhaps d5 is not a good idea in the... Uh, Bogo Indian defense after knight d2. Okay, thanks for watching. Those were some of the variations from the Bogo Indian defense and I might add a game here later but so there's an interesting game about this opening and uh, it introduces an interesting trap this game was played between Max Ewe and uh, Capablanca in 1931 Here black plays knight e4 already, perhaps aiming for a draw. But here, white doesn't recapture the knight immediately, but he plays this cunning move, knight g5, and this is called the Monticelli trap. So Max Ewe played this, and uh, the idea behind this is that there's this threat of winning the bishop and the rook, and also there's this mating threat. So if you want, you can um, try to think for a good move against this. Uh, you can stop the video and uh, see if you can find it. Well, the answer is quite difficult. Uh, it's um, Knight e4, bringing the knight out of danger and uh, also blocking the mate threat and also blocking this threat. So it's kind of a uh, three purpose move. Here, white took on e4 because something simple like just retreating the knight wouldn't really lead into any. Um, anything well or taking the knight on e4 taking the piece back because then it would be kind of um, kind of bad I guess maybe something like f5 could occur or something like this so so bishop takes bishop takes queen takes and uh, Queen takes here. 
so now black still has an extra knight but white can take this queen and uh, here c5 or computer suggested queen a5 check are both okay and let's see what happened in the game how would you evaluate this position Here also just a6 was good, protecting the pawn by moving it. Also queen d2 was okay. Knight d4 disconnecting the rooks. And uh, something like knight a3 was also good here, but uh, max play rook e1. And the evaluation of this position is actually a draw, and uh, they ended up repeating moves like this. So, Yes, white has two rooks, but he has done one pawn, and uh, black has a strong knight in the center, so so it uh, evens up pretty much. Okay, thanks for watching this long video. Take care.